Hi everyone and welcome to INB493 or MKT493 Multicultural Marketing. I'm really happy that you chose to register for this course and I'm looking forward to having a good time with you guys for this semester. The purpose of this video is to one, welcome you to the course and to also introduce you to some of the course materials, some of the important features of the Blackboard site and to talk a little bit more about expectations for the class. First and foremost, uh, I just want to introduce you guys to the text for the course. One is going to be Multicultural Intelligence uh, by David Morse, Eight Make or Break It Rules for Marketing to Race, Ethnicity, and Sexual Orientation. And we also have Communicating with the Multicultural Consumer by Barbara Mueller. Both books are going to be necessary for your success in the course. So if you haven't gotten those books as yet, please go ahead and get hold of them. You will need them by week three, at least. So as it relates to the Blackboard site, I want to familiarize, I want you guys to familiarize yourself with certain key features of the site. First and foremost, the homepage. The homepage has several folders that will have uh, content areas that you guys should pay really close attention to. Um, the most important section is going to be syllabus and course information. You will find some information about myself um, under about the instructor and also this course syllabus, course objectives and course schedule are on the Blackboard site in that section. The second section that I want you guys to pay attention to is called the course content section. What we have in the course content section is modules of the course separated into weekly folders. So each week you will open the um, the folder is in sequential order, so we'll begin with the first week and we keep going until we get to the end of the course. The third section that I want you guys to pay attention to is the course library. The course library is not under the home page, but it's in a separate content section, and you can find that on the left hand side in the menu on Blackboard. Now, the course library contains reports and publications that I have added to the course that should help you in completing your assignments and would be also pretty cool reading even if you don't use any of the materials that are there. There are also copies of um, the initial chapters from the texts so that you can do week two if you don't have your books as yet. So that's going to be pretty helpful for persons who have ordered their books but they haven't gotten them yet. So please feel free to go ahead and check out the course library. Now, as it relates to this week, we have just a few housekeeping matters to take care of this week before we jump into course content next week. You are going to, uh, once you get access to the folder, you're going to be seeing a few pieces of work that you need to do. First and foremost, we have the reminder to purchase your books. I had, I've covered this before, but just to remind everybody, it is essential that you purchase the course texts. You will need them right? The second thing that I want you guys to do is complete the getting to know you discussion section. So under the discussion on the left hand side, you will see that there is currently a forum that is available for you guys to introduce yourselves. Um, there's also a link within the week one folder that you can use to access that particular discussion. There is also a syllabus quiz. And that is to ensure that you have read the syllabus, you have, uh, you understand some of the very important things that are going to be covered, the deadlines. And this is basically a contract between you and me um, to make sure that we are both on the same page when it comes to when assignments are due, when discussion boards are due, and what the penalty is for late work. Time management is going to be very, very important in a course like this because it's online. That's going to mean that a lot of the work is going to be powered by you. Right. If you find at any time that you are struggling in the course, please feel free to make an appointment to come and see me in my office. Or, of course, please send me an email. All right. Now, for persons who are not familiar with multicultural marketing at all, um, I just wanted to share some things with you uh, that should get you pretty pumped about the course. Um, multicultural marketing has become very important in the US for a couple of reasons. One of the most important things is that minorities currently represent about a third of the US population based on the 2010 census, which is um, quite a while back. Um, but that indicated to America 
and the world that minorities are growing as a percentage of the overall U.S. population. So their needs and their cultures as consumers need to be taken into account when we are trying to compose marketing messages to reach them. We are also seeing where census projections say that minorities will be around 50% of the U.S. population by 2050. And when I say minorities, what I mean is African American, Asian or Pacific Islanders, Hispanic or Latino, and persons who are mixtures of these other culture, these cultures will represent roughly half of the U.S. population. That's a huge proportion of the U.S. population. So that means that pers having the skills to, one, understand, to research, and three, communicate with a multicultural consumer is going to become more and more important in marketing in the U.S. Uh, going forward for the next 20, 50 years to come. So the, pur the purpose of this course is to teach you guys some more about the U.S. multicultural consumer, some of their uh, cultural differences uh, per and how those will affect how we communicate with them as marketers. Now that's enough business. Um, of course, like I said, welcome to the course. I'm looking forward to sharing with you guys uh, over the course of the semester. And if at all you have any questions, please feel free to send me an email. And my final note to you guys, please take some time during this first week to familiarize yourself with the Blackboard course site, the course syllabus, the policies for the course, and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks, and good luck, and I'll see you guys next week.